So I'll go through these and at the end of it, I'll tell you which ones I've used. So first up is, now I knew that Dave was going to send this to me. I have got this. I didn't know there was even a slip cover on this one. And uh, this is such a, such a good movie. I haven't seen it yet, but I've seen trailers for it, and I thought I have got to see this movie. And I bought it on uh, Blu-ray. I know there's a 4K come out, special edition, but um, I think I'm happy with the Blu-ray. But to get the slip cover, and it was is really good. And a nice bit of spot cross in there, if you can see it, if it picks up on at this time of night. There you go. Yeah. So that's Bowie, Moon Age Daydream. Everybody's got to love David Bowie. I'll put that over there for slips I'm going to use. Next up is... Ah, mm. now I've got this one, but I don't think I've got a slip cover on it. Or if I've got a slip cover, it's not as nice as this one. I know my son's got this one, but I don't know if he's got a slip cover. So what I'll do is I will see this will get used, but I'm not sure on what mine or my son's. But what a film this is. It's absolutely brilliant. I'll put that on the, li on the list of upgrades. I'm trying to get this so I can see these without looking at them. Next up is, oh, look at that. Now, I've got this, but I have not got the slip. Did the US one have a longer cut? I'm not too sure. Look at that. I mean, this, this I mean, these two movies are absolutely brilliant. But this is uh, one of the best ones. Go on. Just got a notification on me, right on my screen. Great. Put up there. So that'll be a definite upgrade. If you haven't seen this movie, you have got to see this movie. If you like Dread, the Judge Dread movie that came out in 2000, whatever, 2012, I think. You want to see that one. Next up is... Oh, oh, oh. The Green Inferno. Now, as everybody knows, I've seen a little, and seen, heard a little bit about this. And I don't know if I want to go there, if I'm honest. Should I check it out? I don't know. People say it's not as bad as I thought it was. What they, what I thought it was, but I'm very unsure about this one. So I'm going to leave that one a pile of possibilities i don't know it's not that i'm like scared of watching stuff like that or sickened by stuff like that it's just that that one for some reason just doesn't sit right with me because i think it's a bit of a i don't know how to describe it is it something that i think is uh very warranted i don't know next up is well i've seen some of this movie and it looks absolutely brilliant i love mia goff actually and uh, the director, what's he called again? I'm blanking on his name. It's obviously uh, Cronenberg's son. He is, uh, I think he's a great director. Now, I do know that this, this Blu-ray here is cut, so I'm going to have to get something that's uh, fully uncut. And if it's if I can get one, this one will go over the top of it, so I'm keeping that for upcoming. Now, when I'm looking at that, this shows you what this camera's like. When I'm looking at that, this is bright red. But when I look at it there, it looks orange. So there you go. So that's Infinity Pool. I'll put that, I'll put that in the definite pickup pile. I've got Inferno as a, a maybe. Next up is, uh, mm, I've got this one. I do think I've got the slip on it, but I'll just double check. And like I say, if this slips better, this slip will be going over the top of it. Actually, it is, where is it? It's probably there. Yeah, I think it has got a slip on. But I'll check the quality of the slips, because this may go over the top of it. That'll be a possible upgrade there. Next up, I saw this one. Next up is... Oh. Oh, look at this. This is this is amazing. I've had this on my radar for quite a bit. I love this film. I think it's brilliant. I have got the previous Blu-ray, but I didn't want to get this Blu-ray. But I thought when I get around to it, they'll not have the slip cover on it. And look what this is. This is, if you haven't seen this one, it's like a found footage movie where these people take this uh, thing on a, on a camera phone, but it's really scary. It's excellent. And it's Arrow. I mean, come on. That's amazing. So I'm going to put that in there with my Infinity Pool one. Lovely slip, that. Next up is... Uh, I've heard of this one, but not, nothing more than that. Bite. Scream, fa Scream Factory. These are some amazing slips here. Wow. It's a US slip, obviously. I think I'll have to check that one out. Over the top, gross and amazing to witness. I'm in. I'll put that in with, uh, with the wreck one. Actually, I'll put that with Green Inferno. 
but I'd be probably picking up Bite before I pick up Green Inferno by the looks of it. Next up is Alive 3D, Sky 3D. I know that's um, Natural History Museum. We've been there a couple of times, me and Deborah. Really enjoy it. And this is obviously David Attenborough doing a, a thing of that. I've never seen this before, but I like I like stuff. I, I love museums. We're, uh, we're big in them once when going up to London. Look at all the museums, art museums as well. So this is a definite um, investigate. I'll put that in with the bite pile. These are, I'm going to turn this around because I think these are all upside down, so I'm having to switch them around. So next up is... Oh, the cat on the block. Now I've got this one and uh, it's not got a slip on it. I know for a fact it hasn't. This is a great movie as well. Hey, I tell you what, you've, you've got some, these are some amazing slips, uh, Dave. They really are. Good film, this. Good comedy. It's got the fella out of um, Hot Fuzz and uh, what's he called again? I can't see on this, but uh, yes, you know what I mean, don't you? From Shaun of the Dead and spaced so that, that'll go in a definite upgrade next up is i've done all that and i've turned them all the way around and the obviously there's final destination 3d this is five so i say this is a great slip and uh look at that detail on that spot cross and everything now i haven't got this i have got this but i've got steel book of it so i think i might pick this up on a uh, this will be Dead cheap and CX. I'll get this one just to use this lovely slip because I, I do like this slip. I've got all the other ones. Slip covers, I don't I don't know, but I've got all the other ones. Great series. I think they made a new one, aren't they? So I'll put that in there. The CEX pile, which I don't think I've got yet. Actually, I'll put it over there at CEX. Okay, so which way are these going? Next up is Gonja. Gon, gon Wanted an asylum, one of the freakiest places in the world. Don't know anything about this one. This looks like a US release. You know, with them cut out of that. I don't know why they do that. It's really strange. Yeah, I'll look into that. I like things about asylums. So I'll put that in there. Possible pickups. Next up is. Oh, ooh. The Killing of a Sacred Deer. This is. Is it Curzon? Yeah, Curzon. This is a movie I want to see for a long time. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I don't know anything about it other than a lot of people talk about it. So that made me want to check it out. But the fact that this cover, I mean, it's a beautiful cover, that. Artificial Eye. Yeah, really intrigued to get that one now. That'll be a CEX. Well, if they ever get in CEX, I'll get that picked up from CEX. But if it, if I see it and it hasn't got a slip, it has now. So I'll put that, that in the uh, CEX pile, but I'll definitely... Uh, Want to check that one out? That's a good slip. That next up is oh the what does that say? I don't know the whatever that says. Pass incident lenticular. Oh, look at that! You see that? That's brilliant. From. From Rennie Harlan, director of Die Hard 2 and Cliffhanger. Well, I didn't. That's, that's got a lot of these kind of stick out as well. I didn't, I didn't get that. What a slip. Never heard of it, but uh, it's got pedigree. So I'll have to check that out. Deborah might like that one. Well, brilliant. Put that in the CX. I never see these in CX, so maybe I'll have to look further afield. Actually, speaking about CX, I think they're pretty poor at the minute. I think when I go in there, actually, I haven't been in there. For weeks and weeks and weeks. When I go to the town, I say to Deborah, I'm going to the shop. You going to say yes? I said, no. So what for? I said, rubbish. Uh, I'd rather go to the video shop. Video shop? Vinyl shop. Next up is... Cell. I'm, I mean, I'm a big fan of John Cusack and also Samuel L. Jackson. So that's... that's um, Yeah, give that one a shot. Daisy Keach. Looks like it could be some kind of um, outbreak there. John Cusack is surprisingly good in all his movies. CX pick up there. CX pile, shall I say. Trying to get these so they don't fall off. There's loads here and loads there. Next up is 
the joke, look at that. Really slips so lovely. You can get these for next to no, nothing now. The next to nothing in CEX, which is good because um, you know, it's all the better for me because uh Deborah really likes these ones, but uh it's a lovely slip. In fact, I think I've got a slip for this, but it's not a slip cover. Who's that sheer corn? Great character. Put that in CEX pile. I want to get all them classic Disney ones on Blu-ray because uh we do watch them quite a lot, although I haven't watched them for a bit. You saw them all on VHS and not the VHS that are with a packet. Next up is Django. Now, I've got this one. I think I've got the slip, but I don't know if my slip's in good nick. If it isn't, good, isn't in good nick, this will be an upgrade. So I'll put that in the pile for upgrades over there. Next up is The Descent. Now, I've got... I'm looking at there because I can see them. Where are they? Is up there? No, it's over there. I've got two descents because I've got two, off two uh, separate um, two people, and one of them's got a slip cover on, and one of them hasn't. So this one is going to go on the one that hasn't. So I've got two with slip covers. Brilliant. I haven't seen this one yet. I've got to see it. So that's an upgrade there. Lovely air uh, conditioner cover. Next up is. Dracula Untold, what a cover that is. Now, I know you can get this for literally 50p, as I saw it the other day. It's like literally pennies. This was supposed to be the start of another um, upgrade in the, the Marvel Universe, which never happened. So I'll give it a whirl. I think I was going to watch this, but never got round to it. And then, of course, with them not continuing, I just didn't get round to it. But yeah, I will definitely give it a whirl. So that's Dracula Untold. But then CX. Lovely slip cover, lovely lenticular slip cover. Another lenticular coming up here. It's now my son's got this one. What is this American US one? This was a good uh, remake, actually. I do prefer the original one because it's you know um George A. Romero. But what I'll do is I'll see if Matthew's got this on lenticular cover or not. I don't think he has. Yeah. Good film though. That's a possible upgrade. Next up is oh, these are gonna to topple. Next up is this um this is Daniel Radcliffe Horns. This is meant to be a good movie actually. This can you see that going red? Yeah, I see it. Oh hell, look at that. Hey. That's not bad, is it? See his eye in that, the horn. That's a good uh, slip cover. I've heard good things about this. He will bring out the devil in you. It's funny where he's gone. He's gone to do some uh, pretty good films, actually. And he's not as annoying as he is in um, Harry Potter. Just saying. So I'll put that in the CEX pile. I'm sure I saw that the other day. I've never seen a cover like that, though. Next up is... Whoa, look at this. The Dark Half. I've read this book, Stephen King book. Eureka slipcover there. That's amazing, that. Eureka slipcovers are lovely. I think they're very underrated for the slipcovers. And also, they seem to be very really limited. I don't think I've seen the film. I think I have seen the film if it's, if it's one from, I want to say the 90s. Not too sure. Yeah, I think it is. That one from the 90s. Did it say, I'm, I can't see anything, never mind the fact that I can't see it in this light. But yeah, the dark half. That's a definite CEX pickup. If, I, if I'm getting CEX, I'll probably send away for that one, actually. Next up is, speaking of Stephen King, The Stand. I read this book. It was about 2,000 pages long. It wasn't that much, about 1,200. And it took me forever, but I loved it. One of the best books I've ever read. Best big book. Michael. Where's me ladders? One of the best big books I've ever read. Oh, the original. I was going to say, I'm sure it was a series. Well, this is a series. Excellent. I'm sure they could probably do this again, you know, and bring it not up to date, but they could tell the story again. It'd make a proper, well, a big long series out of it because the book is massive. Captain Trips. Next up is 
Monkey Shines. This, these are all Stephen King, aren't they? Look at this, man. These are really rest uh, slips. Most of these slips are kind of like wow factors ones. This is a great film, actually. And to be honest, when you get these things, you kind of forget the Eureka because they don't they don't deal with the HMVs you never see in the shop. You kind of forget that they do these things. Wow, look at that. Monkey Shines. Um, yeah, these are going to be ones that I probably have to source off online. I can't, don't think um, I could ever get them in CX, but you never know. But if they are, I'll be picking them up. Next up is... Oh, I love this film. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. So what I'll, what I'll do is, um, I think I've got this, but I don't know if I've got a cover in it. I don't think I have. I think this is better than my cover, if I've got a cover. But uh, love these, love Money Python, as you know. So yeah, that'll be an upgrade one, that one. Next up is, <laughs> speaking of that, let the right one in. This is the original one. Yeah. Let the, oh, that's, uh, slip cut, uh, that's, uh, actually, I've got these two, I think. So I'll have to find out what the, where they are in the world. Yes, so that will be an upgrade, possibly. Next up is I can't believe this. Now, I love this movie, and I've got it. You know, have a two seconds. It's over. It's over there. If I've got it. I have. I got in a different format. Um, maybe creeps. What a slip cover this is. I'm, sh I'm sure I've got this, but I'm trying to think where it's from. Not too sure at all where this one is, but I will have a look at that. Red, and that's coming across to me. Orange. That's a lovely cover, that. A great movie. Absolutely amazing. Next up is Baskin. I've looked at this quite a few times, and usually the it was in CEX and the, the uh, slip cover was absolutely like rotten. Look at this. This is in perfect condition. This is a Severin release, actually. It's one I'm really, really interested in. I like the slip cover and I like the look of it. But then when you do, this is an 18, so it must be a um, UK release on Severin because they do that uh, from time to time. It's been to be good, though, I've heard. So yeah, Baskin, it's got some good uh, slips there. Amazing ones. I'll probably get these ones offline. Next up is this slip is up, one of the best slips I've ever seen. Weird Science. Amazing. Now I've got this one, but is this one better? We shall find out. Just love it. Soft touch as well. Just amazing. Weird Science, what a film that is. Used to watch that on a loop back in the day. Next up is... Uh, I did think that... Man, I did think this is US as well. That... I'm sure he was. He mentioned this to me. Dave did. And this is... I watched. I got this off my good friend uh, Paul, aka 4K Chef. And he sent us the um, the 4K over. 4K looks amazing, but I haven't got a cover in it. I was going to get an upgrade in the cover, but then again, this is going to go over the top of it. It's going to look just exactly the same as it would if it was a 4K. Amazing. Big shame about Bruce Willis at the moment, isn't it? But um, yeah, that, that'll be well used, that. That's an upgrade there. I've got a big upgrade pile there. Next up is... Ah, Red Sparrow. This this is so red and it comes across as orange on there. Jennifer Lawrence. Um, I've heard about this one. I think there's Devil seen this one. Seems to be her type of thing. This, is it espionage? Possibly. Yeah. That's a US cover as well, so I'll definitely, I'll definitely get that one somewhere. Brilliant. I've got some US boxes as well, so I can swap it over. It's like an English box that doesn't fit in. Next up is... Dunza Kimbo, Daniel Radcliffe. What a cover that is. Don't know, don't know anything about this one. Never heard of it, actually. 
he must have made quite a few films that I've never heard of. And, but I keep hearing he's not a bad actor. I'm not a fan of Harry, Harry Potter, I've got to, got to say. Guns Akimbo. Next up is... Oh. I've got this, but I haven't got the slipcover. Umbrella slipcover as well. I've got it, but it's... Uh, I don't know who it's on. It's over there, but I don't know who... Uh, it's not Umbrella, I know that much, but this, this slipcover is far too... Not that I'll waste it, obviously it'll go in the thing, but that's uh, the spot gloss and that as well. Amazing. That's that's absolutely brilliant. Next up is, our last up is, The Girl With The Gifts. Now, I've got this one, but I got I got this one for 25 pence when I, I was seeing poor uh, 4K Chef again. I went to go and see uh, Guns N' Roses. I went to a charity shop. And I got this for 25 pence. Can you believe it? But I'm pretty sure that the, the slip cover is not like that. Not as good as that. So I'll swap it over. So what I'll do is I'll go and get them now. But I'll tell you what. These slip covers here are probably some of the best slip covers that I've ever got of Dave. And he sent us loads. He really has. Can't thank you enough. So that's them slip covers there. And I'll go and get these upgraded now and see what they, what they look like. So these are all the ones I've upgraded with the help of my good friend Dave. First up, Moon Age Daydream. Brilliant. Like I say, I never knew this was a slip for this one. Can't wait to watch that, uh, that movie. Like anything about David Bowie. There's my raid, which is the American one, which I got off my good friend John Hall. And there you go. Red Dead Redem the Raid Redemption, which doesn't actually does it say redemption on here? No, it doesn't. That's what it's called. It's still the first movie. But it's uh, yeah, that covers great. And weirdly enough, this kind of has got this cut out of it, which looks a little bit like a US um disc um cover, but it's not. You can see I can get a bit of a bigger box for that. Swap the box around and that'll fit a treat. But it's the American unrated edition there, which I think is a probably unrated, but possibly it's got a bit more in it. What a movie. Upgraded also the, the Raid 2. I didn't have the slip for the Raid 2, so this is now a, a really good upgrade of that. So I've got them both now on the shelf. Look at that. Nice. I did swap out, and I've got the cover here. That was my cover. had a sticker on it, which I hadn't took off. So I upgraded that one. Big Bad Wolves. Lovely. I mean, they're all perfect condition. I can't see anything else. Absolutely amazing. I don't know about the crazies yet, because it's in my son's room and he's sitting eating a pizza. But I think I'm going to upgrade that one. I'll tell you about that probably on a different video, you know, down the line. Next up, Attack on the Block. Now, this goes into a nice slip, slip sort of like box there. Really nice. Grateful on this. So that's a welcome upgrade for that one. Next is Django. I did upgrade this one because my box there, my Django, does have, if you see the spine there, I don't know if you, yeah, you can see, that this might have got a little bit of, I think a bit of sun damage. This is red and this one's kind of turned a bit yellowy. So yeah, so I've got that one. That's a nice, I mean, perfect condition. Nice upgrade. Excellent. Next, I got the descent, the one I didn't have with the slip cover on now, and I've got it. Do need to get this watched. I've got the slip, I've got the descent too as well, still to watch. Holy Grail, I didn't have a slip for this. I was sure that I thought it did have a slip for this, but no, I didn't. So, yeah, nice. Actually, these ones, when they're coming out in the 4K, they're just not getting slips on, which is a bit of a disgrace, if I'm honest. At least you should have the the uh, choice to get that, uh, you know, if you want to get them straight away. Let the right one in. Didn't have a slip on. So, yeah, got that. So that's great. So both of them on the shelf. Nice. Excellent, that. Next up, I did an upgrade because I thought, is this going to be an upgrade on here? Because mine's pretty good, but this one's better. Weird science. I mean, look at this. Now, the thing I've noticed about this is, 
I don't know if I'll get the 4K for this one because I think the 4K, the slip cover and everything's exactly the same on this. So it's one of those ones where you think, well, do I really want to get that? I don't know if the upgrade for the 4K, I think Keith from Euphoria Pictures linked to his channel down below, as I said before. I think he said it's not really much of an upgrade from my recollection. I haven't, uh, no one's really told me to go for this one. Look at this slip cover, man, all the stuff on it. Just, just lights up, great. One of the best slip covers ever, if I'm if I'm honest. But uh, Amaro could have made the slip cover for the 4K a little bit different. Maybe they just change it a little bit. Anyway, so I upgraded that with a slight upgrade for me. And uh, the girl with the gifts. That was the one I got for 25 pence. And the slip cover was quite good, actually, considering it's 25 pence. But I've upgraded it with this one because this one is like literally perfect. Good film as well. Got a great performance in from um, Paddy Constadine. Always, you know, he kind of go wrong with him. He's great. And it's weird that um, Glenn Close is in this movie as well. Strange, that one. Next up is Death Wish. Look at this. This bit's great because it's a, a US case. This is a US um, slipcover for the Blu-ray. But I don't know if the 4K ever had one. Yeah, but it does now. This is red, but it's actually orange for you at the minute. Um, yeah, so that's great to have that. That'll be one of my 4Ks. Absolutely brilliant. Good film as well. I think it was one of his last good films before he kind of started making the ones that he had to make for, to get the money for his family. The last but by no means least is Possession. This is the second sight Possession. This was a band video nasty as well, believe it or not. Got the same cover on, but this is the Umbrella release. I don't know how it differs. It might not uh, differ at all in the presentation there. Probably would have something different about it. That looked absolutely amazing on the shelf there. So, yeah, I mean, look at this. This has been one of the best ones for the slip covers. That's why I've made it into a separate video. Because there's been so many in here. So I've got all them there. And I've also got these ones as well. So yeah, so absolutely brilliant. Can't wait to uh, go check now those other ones that I've got. So I want to thank Dave and Jill once again for thinking of me and sending me over this gargantuan box set. Which um, I've opened obviously in two separate parts because it was just so much. I mean, these slip covers alone has taken me at the moment 51 minutes. I'll be trimming it down like, but it just shows you that the whole video would probably have took two hours to to take this box to to see what's in it. So thanks once again for watching, especially you, Dave and Jill, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.